Alex, what has happened to this dream factory? When I first started coming up with friendly phrases that put a positive spin on what some organisation is self-evidently doing, people said that that was totally unnecessary and no way for an honourable man to earn a living. Then I landed the Thames 7 water contract and came up with bringing water to people who need it. <laughs> Stick that in fake handwriting on all the vans, I said, and that will in some way be good. <laughs> Guys, I'm afraid we're getting tired. Tim, have you come up with anything for that fleet of delivery vans? All right, it's when there's a thing in a place, but the people whose thing it is need it in another place, then wouldn't it be good if there was some kind of system where... Too I... long! Much too long! <laughs> Brian, what about the one for the Dulux paint vans? Making paint for obvious reasons. No, you can't say it's obvious. That's death. It's all obvious. Julie, Department of Health? Uh, working with you to stop you dying. Brackets sometimes. <laughs> Department of Education? Hopefully ensuring you can read this. Oh, in fact, I've come up with one that would work for all government departments. Being the governmental department named above. That's a disaster! You, you can't give them a multi-purpose one. But it'd be a big saving in terms of... What? Money they give to us? <laughs> what we're selling to them is the idea that people can no longer cope with things being simply labelled but need some kind of hand-holding accompanying phrase. <laughs> now, I'm a certain sort of evil. Not death camp evil, not serial killer evil, but I take a perverse pleasure in having been paid through the nose for nothing of any value. That is my dream, and I'm not going to let it die! We're all completely behind you on that one. Oh, yeah. I mean, I actually used to be a serial killer, but then I realised that this sort of evil reaches so many more people. Oh, that was what I realised the last time I left a kitten on the jewel carriageway. That's a moment. Maybe our problem is that we're the victims of our own success. That would be gratifying, but at the same time, a pisser. What I meant was, the pointless accompanying phrase with which we advertise our own services might be letting us down. Remind me what it is. Uh, we're currently using two. Um, on the business cards, we've got writing what people are doing on things. And on the note paper, we've got writing what people are doing on the thing that they're doing it in, beside or with. You see what I mean? It's bland and it doesn't reflect our malevolent purpose. You're right. So what were you thinking? How about sweetening your bullshit and spraying it into the faces of your potential critics? Oh, I love it. It reflects the conflict at the heart of everything. Government departments hate the people, companies hate their stupid customers, and I hate everyone in this room. <laughs> yeah!